Okay, I'm gonna make some ribs for you today in the brand new GoWise pressure oven. A lot of you asked me to make ribs and this sure sounds good to me. I loosely followed the recipe in the book that came with the pressure oven. Loosely by meaning I added some of my own ingredients. But they have a good recipe there. Here's the ribs I had marinating overnight. You don't have to do this, but I did. Here they are. Ooh, meat side down. I turned them over halfway through. Okay. This is three and a third pounds of baby back ribs. Baby back, baby back. I got, whew, I got garlic in there, brown sugar, mustard, a cup of beer, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, because I like it, and three cloves of garlic. You know what I'm gonna do with them now? I'm going to put them back here. This is easy, okay? You don't have to marinate them, but you could. At the end, I'm gonna finish them up with some sweet baby rays as a glaze, because I'm gonna broil them at the end as well. Let me put down two sheets of foil. Okay. Now I'm going to drain off a little excess liquid back here. Lay down on foil. Lay down on foil. See how I laid it meat side down? That's because I'm going to put some rub on the bottom. And then I'm going to flip it over. Put some rub on the top. This is A1 dry rub. Sweet mesquite barbecue. Put it on top. Now I'm going to take another piece of foil, put it on top. See that? And I'm going to close them up. Like that. Nice little package. Look at that. Meat side up. I like it. Big back rib. Come back here to the pressure oven. Here's the beautiful GoWise USA. Brand new pressure oven. Remember it has a rotisserie in there. I'm gonna remove that. I have a broiler pan. I have a rack. I'm gonna put these on the rack. I'm gonna put the rack in the middle. Maybe a drip pan or a crumb pan down below here. We're gonna bake these low and slow. Look at this. 250 degrees for three and a half to four hours. Isn't that great? Under pressure. This pressure oven comes up to 11 pounds of pressure, which is good. There's another pressure oven on the market. It has a low two pounds of pressure. We're gonna put it in sealing mode, just like a pressure cooker. I'm gonna press bake. I wanna go, change my temperature to 250, low and slow, way to go with these ribs. 250 for, for three and a half to four hours. All right, it goes to three hours, that's plenty. I'm gonna start. And it went to pressure, see, that P lit up. That controls the pressure valve. Watch if I push this. See that popped. I'll push it again. Pressure mode. And also make sure you're in seal over here. Light on, light off. I'll leave the light off because there's nothing to see since they're wrapped in foil. And I'll check it at three hours. I'll open it and take the internal temperature, see how it looks. And we're gonna broil it at the end. Using the same oven. Now what's different about this is they're being baked, but they're also under pressure. 
so it's going to infuse the marinade and the rub that I have on there. And it's going to fall apart. Delicious. You'll see. All right, I guess I'll be back in three hours unless, I don't know, I want to update you. I know it's going to smell probably pretty good. <laughs> it's going to be torture for a while. All right, see you soon. Time's almost up. There's like 17 minutes remaining. And guess what? I don't smell anything. You know why? Because it's sealed in pressure. That's a good thing. So it doesn't torture me for over three hours, you know? Oh, I wanted to thank my friends Butch and Jeannie for this shirt. Straight out of Cadillac. It's me. And they sent me a nice card with a dog on it. And a nice letter inside. Thank you very much, Butch and Jeannie. My neighbor's from Philly. That's a nice letter. So thanks, I really like the shirt. Let's check out the meat. That was really nice of you, thank you. All right, let's release the pressure here. It's nice, it's different than a pressure cooker, but it kept pressure in there the whole time. Mmm, now I smell it. I see a little juice in the pan down there. Let me take the temperature of the meat if I can through the foil. We want it to be at least 205 to be full apart tender. 198, 199, 200. Check this one. It's right around 200. I want it to be around 205. That's done right now. But 205 is the magic temperature to make it fall apart for me. Put that back in pressure mode. Oh, we still have 15 minutes left. Okay. So let me finish the 15 minutes there. And it went back to pressure. See? See how quick the pressure builds up? Watch. See that? Isn't that great? All right, 14 minutes. I'll check it again. Then remember, I'm going to finish it on the broiler, so that'll bring it up to temperature, too. Oh, with some sweet baby rays. Right back. Less than a minute remaining. And you know what just happened when it turned to one minute? The pressure released by itself. It just went, pssst. It came out. You saw last time I released the pressure when I stopped it early. We're going to wait a minute and see what happens here. Less than a minute. There we go. All right. Double check, make sure your pressure is out. Yep. Mm. Some juice in the bottom pan. Let's take that temperature again. Either way, I'm finishing it this time. 205, 206. Right, isn't that nice how it's perfect? I wanted 205. Now I would like to remove the top foil there. Maybe some juice in here, huh? Let me remove these and put them on a plate right now so I could take the top foil off and I can work with it better. If there's any juice in there, I'll drain it into a pan. Oh, I smell them now. Stand by. Mm. Yeah. Hang on. Babies. I wish you could smell it. Now I'm going to brush that with Sweet Baby Rays. Pour some on top. And then brush it. Put that back on the rack. Look at it. Oh, 
open the other one. Oh, this smells delicious. Look at this. Put some sweet baby rays on there. Brush it up a little bit. Put it in. These are gonna be messy. Mmm. <laughs> Let's put these in the oven. Now, I'm going to use the broil function. Let's do that pressure. Isn't that amazing? How it builds the pressure instantly. Broil. It's set to 20, but I'm going to check it in 5. Broil. All right. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. Can't wait for this one. See that bubbling in there? Look good. Broiling. It's been five minutes under the broiler. When you saw it, and look at it again. How's it look? Let's get it out. Ribs. Ooh. I got a plate. Look at them. Which one do you want? It got caramelized on top of there. Hmm. I think I'll eat the small one for now. Can I pick it up without it falling apart? Can ribs be too tender? I don't think so. Look at it. I'm going to have to sit down for this. Okay. Got some juice there. Leave you sit in there. Keep warm for a while. Thank you, GoWise USA pressure oven, for making me some delicious ribs. We gotta taste them now. Look at, look at this. Can you see it all right? I'm not going to pick up the whole rack, am I? Ooh. Is it still hot? Well, that first piece. Yeah. Wow, they're good. Good and messy. Boy, that broiler put a good touch on it at the end there. Tastes broiled. Tender. Delicious. Pressure oven. A lot of meat on there. I'm gonna finish eating them. So good. I have a whole nother half a rack left there, huh? Finger looking good. All right, let me finish eating these. Thanks for watching me make these. A lot of you suggested me to make ribs. And I did. Here they are. They're great. Try that. Check out that Go Wise USA pressure oven. Check it out down there. Go get some ribs. Cook them up. 
Have a nice day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Mm. Mm.